Hello again everyone, this is JB3, and this is part 6 of Let's Play the Xenosaga series. Uh, we are about to meet our last playable character, and I'm going to just save the game here. This is where I ended the last part. I'm probably going to get an error saying there's no memory card. Oh, never mind. Okay, so now... Like I said, we are going to need the last playable character for episode one. It was very dark, and the wind howled horribly around her. She felt as if she were being rocked gently like a baby in a cradle. Huh. All's quiet after the storm. There's no trace of anything. Over. Lake of Darkness, where Nero does his fishing, looks something like this. You're quite the poet today, little master. Where do you come up with this stuff, huh? Read some books, Mary. It's good for you. Books are made from paper, little master. And they're such a pain to carry around. Paper and stone tablets last longer than optical data, you know. Besides, reading a book helps me get to sleep. How's the sensor readout? Anything showing up? Nothing at all. It's as if even the atoms are at rest. Not even gas or dust? If it was a giant flare, it should have at least left behind some high energy particles. How could that be? An entire planet was here, just a little while ago. Retrieving Little Master. Open Cargo Bay 6. Opening Cargo Bay 6. Opening Cargo Bay 6. Opening Cargo Bay 6. Let's go! Keep up the pace, everyone. We still got work to do. Welcome back, little master! Yo! Ariadne's completely vanished. But it doesn't seem like it was destroyed. It's almost as if someone is hiding it somewhere. Hiding it? Where would that be? Who knows? The best way to find out would be to ask the person who's hiding it. Shelly? It's very slight, but I'm getting a reaction from the primer. No question about it. Some kids playing with matches, maybe? What happened to that fleet, anyway? We haven't heard anything since we picked up that distress signal six hours ago. Gnosis, huh? Hmm. They must have been totally wiped out. Not necessarily. When the little ones play with fire, you know their folks can't be too far behind. Oh, I get it. So you reckon that the mom is gonna show up soon? Exactly. Change course. Proceed to the last known coordinates of the Federation fleet. We underestimated him by thinking he was just a relic from an age gone by. In regards to the information leak, we traced it to the Special Ops Intelligence Bureau. We're currently looking into how they discovered the route to Proloma. I apologize for the trouble. It's inevitable. There will always be vermin. I'll leave their extermination to you. Very well. So, do you really think they will show up? Oh, they'll come. After all, that's the reason for their existence. 
It also happens to be Milsha's Achilles' heel. I'll handle the negotiations with the military. I leave the rest to you. Commander? Cherenkov. What is it? The Zohar was... taken by the Gnosis. But... but I managed to secure the 100 series Realian. It's currently on board a cargo ship. Headed for the Milshan star system. I believe it is the same one you had secured on Priloma. What do you... Just stick to your duties. What? Don't do anything beyond the scope of your mission. We've already confirmed all the variables. The situation is proceeding according to plan. But, but, but sir... Return to headquarters at once. I'll deal with you then. Understood? Get the registration of the ship that signal came from. Track Jarenkov's marker. Yes, sir. You just love barking out those orders, don't you, Margulis? Show a little love to your dogs, or else they might bite you one day. You. The prototype belongs to me. I've grown bored with these Kirschwassers. So you're going? I think I'm more likely to succeed than your dogs. Ah, yes. Feed me your hostility. Pierce me with your hatred. <laughs> no, wait! Don't worry. I won't get in your way. We're working toward the same goal, right? <laughs> yeah, that dude's not insane at all. Is it wise to leave this matter to him? I'm not leaving anything to him. He has his uses, that's all. in the shark-infested waters with a big juicy steak. I found the remains of a Zohar security ring. I guess this is where they were storing it. Shelly, set the sequencing primer. Roger. Initiating primer walking. Analyzing gate in wake. If they're already out of range, we're out of luck. Let's hope they're still hanging around nearby. I can't believe you're hoping those things are still here. Aren't you scared, little master? There are plenty of things in this world scarier than the Gnosis. So, how is it? Have they already gone over to the other side? Just hold your horses there, little master. I'm in the middle of analyzing. What? What is it? The emergency alert! Looks like someone got here before us! It appears we're completely surrounded. Using short jumps, eh? 
That's pretty damn clever. So this is the Little Naster, otherwise known as we'll come to find out, as uh, everyone calls him Junior. Times ten, nice. Has begun its retreat. <sighs> the 
be nice if we could just let him go. But we can't do that, can we? Shelly, give him a little nudge. And when he says a little nudge, you know what that means. Set engines to ramming speed. Penetrate the port side and prepare for combat. A nudge, ramming, penetration, a little bit of innuendo there. Okay, so now we're in control of Junior. Junior, Neri, who is only a temporary party member, and then a grunt soldier. The enemy forces seem to be fairly tough. Multiple eggs have also been dispatched. Please be careful. Our main objective is to hack into the mainframe with the UTIC ship. Okay. I don't know why he had to sit down to say that, but that was a little odd. Alright, let's head inside. Please be careful, little master. The enemy's defensive line seems to be located down this corridor and to the right. It's possible that multiple enemies have set up an ambush. Please watch your six. Little Master, your goal is the ship's bridge. The layout of this ship is rather unique, so its location is currently unknown. The other units have been dispatched to get to get control of the enemy forces. We'll take care of things here, so please go after the rest. Antidote. Negkit S. To tech upgrade A. To Ether Upgrade A. Alright, so what do we have going on here? Can't go that way. I'm pretty sure that will cause a fight. Oh, maybe I don't have a choice. Well, ah, uh, here we go. Destroy that, that'll take out the sensors. How the hell was a soldier hiding in that thing? Die. 
die! It's locked electronically. I can see a switch flashing in the back. Okay, and that takes out the other sensors. Excellent. Nothing here. So, let's go back this way and hit that switch. I'm not sure if that unlocks that door or if it does something else. Let's see. There's a switch. Press it. Yes. Ah, okay. Okay, let's go... Obtain two skill upgrade A. Let's go this way first if we can, which we can't. It's inscribed with a large number four. I don't think I can open it with my bare hands. Gosh, get away from me. Well, I guess I'm gonna get some exercise out. Dude was all up on that business. Actually, let's see if Junior uh, I was hoping I had an item that would I could equip that would show an enemy hit point, but apparently I don't, so Alright, so much for that. Obtain two frame repair A. I believe those restore eggs, your eggs hit points. Okay, this should unlo unlock that door number four. Door number four switch. Operate it. Yes. Okay, looks like I'm a little late to this party. 
All right, we got two switches here. Let's hit this first. It looks as though the door cannot be controlled unless you glued up the console, which I'm guessing this does. There's a key card slot. All right, so we need a key card. Let's see if one of them has it. It looks like the aftermath of a surprise attack. I hope our troops haven't taken any losses. I think he has the key card. No, well, maybe not. Obtained cure all, obtained biosphere. Oh, little master, you aren't hurt, are you? We were attacked when the door closed suddenly. My carelessness resulted in our none being wounded. I'm sorry. Door number three was open, but it started to close suddenly, so we scrambled to get inside. That's when they ambushed us. Most of the shots missed me, but he took quite a number of hits because he was in the front. Thankfully, I think he'll be okay, since none of his vitals were hit. Alright, can't talk to him. Anything in here for me? Doesn't look like it. Number five, huh? I wonder if there is a switch somewhere. I'm going to go out on a limb and say yes. Obtain two skill upgrade A. Obtain two tech upgrade A. Oh, we're gonna get attacked. That's right. I got no time for horses like you. I think if I hit the if I touch the door again, I'm gonna get into another fight. I think I have to disable this somehow, which I can do right here. I got attacked the moment I entered the room. It was a good thing this guy was weak. What? Please be careful when you enter a new area. 
I don't know if the soldiers on the Utic ship were thoroughly prepared or cowardly, but they set up ambushes and hide behind things. We've had a lot of unexpected encounters. Don't let your guard down, little master. Card number three? Who knows? I want to say it's in one of these rooms. I have a feeling I'm gonna go in here and the guy's gonna rush me. Freeze! Yep. I got no time for horses like you. Well, at least it's just one. Alright dude, you need to die already. Very embarrassing, you should be ashamed. Obtain two skill upgrade A, found a new segment address, number eleven. else in here. Five ether upgrade A. Who goes there? Get away from me. It's as though the door will not open without the key card.
wonder if Junior can equip anything here. Anything useful. It doesn't look like it. Whoops. I didn't want to do that. Anti-green armor. I guess we'll give him that. And that's all we have. So now that those two are out of the picture, what else do we have? Alright, guess we're going through this door. And to that door number five. Door number five, damn, that's locked. Perhaps this will take care of it. Operate the switch, yes. Okay, that's good. Obtained cure all. How oh, well I don't run by doors that I need to go into. Pro tip. Obtain UTIC card. Sounds like that's going to be useful. It's Mart Telos. It seems to be a part for some sort of robot. Now this might just seem like a throwaway line of text, but actually this is very, very, very important. 
Um, however, you won't hear the name Telos again until the last game. But uh, remember that. Telos. Telos, Telos, Telos. Ah, uh, there's the key card, I think. The, there is key card. There is key card labeled no, card number three. Pick it up. Yes. Get good at English? Yes. You have obtained card number three. Nothing else here. Alright, let's head back. Where the hell did that thing come from? <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Frame repair A. Obtain nothing. Obtain two skill upgrade A. Obtained an ether upgrade S. And what do we have in this chest? A tech upgrade Z. Okay. I predict a fight coming up. Nice, at times ten. Alright, let's call it a day. Alright, we got a times ten and a times four there. That's pretty good. Because we're still kind of early in the game, that doesn't really give you that many extra points, but every extra point helps when we decide to actually go and distribute all those points. Go here. Let's use a. Don't really need to use a biosphere so much, but we'll use one anyway. Let's use a couple of those frame repairs. Then I'll put our eggs HP at full. I wonder, can Junior... Eh, 
I was gonna say, can Junior learn some ether skills, but apparently not. Alright, well, that's gonna have to wait then. Oh, I need to go in here and insert that card. There's a key card slot. It looks like card number three might work on it. Use card number three? Yes. Operate the switch? Yes. What awaits us beyond the door? Looks like this is the bridge. Little Naster, do you remember our objective? Of course, we came for the mainframe. Then let's take care of it quickly. Anything else? I don't think there's anything else in here. No. The terminal is flashing. Operate it? Why not? Mary! This thing? Yes, probably, but don't touch it yet. So, you know what you need to do? Wait just a moment. I'm gonna just stare and not blink. Since this is that, so... Huh? This thing is... Well, it might take a little while, but I can handle it. I see. It doesn't look like it's so hard that you'd have a tough time with it. Security system activated. Security system activated. Security system activated. All hands, please evacuate immediately. All hands, yada yada yada. Little Master, I told you not to touch it. This isn't the right terminal. What are we going to do now? Hmm. 
All right, so you can't use the frame repairs. Ah, but I can put Junior in his eggs. So let's do that. Probably should have done that from the start. Nice job, team. We've hacked into the enemy mainframe. Okay, so now what? Shall I copy or transmit it? They've already entered the manual override code. The partitions are being deleted. Hurry up and start your transmission. Roger. You just clear your head out and wait for me. I tell you, being able to interlink with your sister has got real convenient. I wouldn't say that. She has so many random thoughts. I can't help it! We're humans, not realians. You can telepathically talk to the Kaiser, right, Little Master? That sounds a lot more convenient to me. You don't need this annoying contraption, either. Not really. I have to constantly make sure I watch what I'm thinking. Or else I start sending thoughts I don't want to send. The whole thing's just as tiring as hell be easier just to write him a letter. Oh, I didn't know it was like that. Yep, that's how it is. <laughs> Damn. You okay, Mary? Yeah, I'm alright, but... Look what you did! Oh. I'm sorry to say that all data from the enemy mainframe has been lost. Oh. Oops. It's because of all those cheesy action flicks you keep on watching. They've launched a lifeboat. Shall we pursue? Nah. nah. No need to pursue them that far. We just need to know where they're headed. Place a trace request with the UMN Administration Bureau. Let's head back. Hurry up with the retrieval preparations on board the Durandal. All hands, check your equipment. Don't leave any evidence behind. Amazing. I can't believe how much his personality changes when he's holding a gun. A lust for conquest and absolute power, and the desire to have a really big gun. I suppose that'd be the standard explanation. <laughs> you don't hold back, do you, Shelly? Although, in Little Master's case, it's probably just a complex about his height. <laughs> probably. But I think Little Master's plenty attractive just the way he is. <laughs> True. Mary, we'll be leaving in two minutes. Hurry back, okay? Roger. It's a shame. Little Master doesn't have any choice in the matter but to stay that size. Meanwhile, on the Elsa. Oh, I thought Commander Cherenkov was here with you. What's the matter? Well, he skipped dinner again, so I've been looking for him. Did you check outside? He mentioned something about finding a charter flight. Wait a minute. Wearing that uniform? Yeah. Oh, that's bad. 
This area was abandoned by the government and never properly restored after the war. The people here haven't forgotten how violent the military was, though. It's no place for a soldier to be wandering around. Is it really that dangerous here? Well, it's fine if you're a civilian. In that case, we better go find him before anything happens. Yeah, you're right. I'll go get Ziggy. He'll probably come in handy at a time like this. All right. I'll go with Alan, then. He doesn't look very useful, though. Hmm? Poor Alan. No respect. There's an email for Xi'an. Okay, so this is just telling you that Kostnas can now use the ability R drill. That's really all that is saying. The conclusion the inference machine reached was that Kosnos's original battle capabilities are needed against average Gnosis battle capabilities. It's getting more difficult to handle the appearance of Gnosis with higher battle capabilities. I agree. I bet the most powerful Gnosis realized this and devised some sort of scheme. This will require proper handling. Remember that the tech attack R drill that you got permission to use must be set in a slot in order to use it. Yes, I know. Let's go here and oh wait no we cannot save there never mind never never mind we need to find Ziggy but is he yes yeah, so we have to get Z Ziggy for Shion not yet we have to go get Ziggy first right all oh, right I just freaked out I'm sorry okay so where oh where is Ziggy There's Mono. Maybe she knows where Ziggy is. Oh, Mono, have you seen Ziggy? Ziggy, please wait a minute. I found him. He just got off the elevator and is walking down the corridor below. Wow, you really are amazing, Mono. Hee hee hee, thank you very much. Nothing over there. Nothing there. All right, so let's go down the elevator. Let's find Ziggy.
Oh, Ziggy. What is it? Commander Cherenkov is missing. Will you help me look for him? The commander? He is a soldier, so he should have training of that sort. I do not think you need to be overly concerned. But the captain said this is a bad place for military personnel to wander around. So I'd feel more secure if you were with me. Alright, in that case I'll help you. Better safe than sorry. Alright, so now we've got Xi'an, Chaos, and Ziggy. So now we should be able to exit the ship and go locate the commander. Well, let's start looking for the commander. We should split up to look for him. I'll let you know as soon as I find him. Haven't, you, haven't seen you guys around before. Is this your first time here? Don't look so worried. We'll do a good job servicing your ship. Get some rest while you're here. Alright kids, stop running around. That girl named Ludi at the clinic refuses to talk at all. I was being nice and said I'd play with her. She's such a brat. This colony was once a reality nursery. After the war, the pier was remodeled into a dock. And many refugees came flooding in, probably because of its favorable location, but now it's practically treated like a den of outlaws. Who the heck are you guys? You guys are an odd bunch to come to this rundown dock. The army made a huge mess here during the Milshin conflict. There's nothing of interest here. I will be the judge of that. My husband's love of fishing is such a problem. He goes fishing every chance he gets. It's really an addiction. But the other day, he lost a tool called the, a fish detector or something. He was so depressed. Well, I'm thankful though, since I won't have to hear his fishing stories for a while. Is that Ludi? Nope. Yudi, <laughs> Yudi. Ludi used to live on Ariadne until just recently, but when the planet disappeared, she moved to the colony. Her mother and father disappeared with the planet, so she lives with the doctor now. What is it? Turn and cough? Hey, you're not the doctor. Not very nice of you trying to play tricks on an old man. Please stay in your seat until your name is called. Oh, hello. Tourist? Heh, <laughs> yeah, right. There's no way tourists would be visiting a place that was forsaken by the government. Besides, there aren't any tourist attractions here. But all the people here are good people. Of course, including me.
Oh, are you okay? You seem very tired. I could treat you if you'd like. Not to worry, this is a hospital after all. Okay, just hang on for a second. I'll have you feeling better in a jiffy. Alright, restored to full. Who the heck are you guys? If you need treatment, take a seat and wait for your turn. Poor little thing. Such a darling girl. She went through such an awful tragedy and now she can't talk. The doctor here is a quack, so he can't even cure her. Goodness, someone injured? Or someone with an acute illness? We don't need anyone here except the sick. Go on, get out of here. Little snippy. This must be Ludie. Hi, Ludie. You got nothing to say? Alright. See you later, Ludie. See what's in here. I think it's a shop. Yes, yes, it is. Say, have you heard about the planet disappearance incident? Yes, I have. The truth of that incident is still a mystery. I can't believe that a planet could disappear without a trace. We went through some awful times during the war. The establishment of the Milchian Charter after the war was our saving grace. It would have been wrong to treat the Realians like murderers. That's really weird. There used to be a pink ghost doll at this shop. Where did it go? It broke really easily, so maybe it got thrown away. The selection here is the best in the dock colony. I can even get my grandkids diapers here. The world's certainly become a convenient place. Welcome. We have everything from eggs, bean cannons, to toilet paper. There's nothing you can't get here. What do you need? I uh, don't really need anything there. Get some gloves. Metal rod, that's from Momo. The MSP89SX, which obviously is for Ziggy. Oh, I don't have enough money to buy everything here. Alright, well... Let's buy some stylish armor. And I think that's for Kosnos, D unit V3. And that's for Ziggy. So let's buy this instead of the other one. Since we have Ziggy with us and not Kosnos. Thank you very much. We look forward to your next visit. Alright, so let's equip. Chaos with his new gloves. Little strength increase. And Ziggy will get a strength increase there. And a, oh, a nice vitality increase there. Very nice. Out of the way, Tom. <laughs> Discovered segment address number two. 
This, I believe, is the professor. Or Jank. <laughs> Are you enjoying life? <laughs> okay. Creepy old dude. Let's get out of here. Hey, you there. You better be more careful or you're gonna hit something. Oh man, I did it again. Oh well, it's got so many dents and scratches already, no one will notice another one. What's the matter? Why the long face? Take a look at these people. All the people here either escaped from the Notion conflict 14 years ago, or recently ran away from the Gnosis phenomenon. But even after all they've been through, they're living as best they can. Alright, let's see if we can save here. Now the EVS symbol, that um, that will allow you to go and revisit past areas. And I think the way you get to that is to go into the menu. Yes, go to UNN, go to EVS, and this will take you to any of the past levels you've been to so if we wanted to go back to Florona which is where Ziggy rescued Nono I think or no Who goes there? yes it is where Ziggy rescued Nono get out of my way or else you can go back here and get anything that you missed But that is how you revisit past areas. Um, and then all you simply do is go back to the exit sign, and it will take you back to where you were. Scum! That doesn't look good. What? Have I seen a commander wandering around? Hey, this is the wrong place to be talking about the military. Don't you know anything? They can and destroyed everything without discrimination just because this was reality and nursery. Sheesh. Planets vanishing, gnosis appearing, the universe has become like a chaotic place. With all this commotion, I don't have any time to rest. But then again, thanks to that, I can put food on the table. Hello, are you here on business? Not that we have anything we're seeing here, but please make yourselves at home. My gosh. Doesn't this other person say anything? Oh, I haven't seen you around before. Can I help you with something? 
Commander Cherenkov? You're looking for a soldier? Are you an idiot or something? Looking for a soldier in this colony? You must be insane. Oh, Shion, it's terrible. It's terrible. In the thug, the alleyway is beat up all commander. All right. Um, um, Hammer, I can't understand you at all. Calm down a little. There's no time to calm down. Come on, hurry. Come this way, quickly. Shion, we must get these people to a hospital at once. They're still alive, but barely hanging on. Huh? I'll... I'll go call an ambulance. <laughs> this is terrible. Where, where's Commander Cherenkov? I'm detecting a faint heat signature heading toward the dock. It most likely belongs to the commander. Commander. That's enough. But, commander! Are you okay? Yeah. What happened? I got cornered by some uh, street punks. But they started fighting amongst each other, so I ran away during the commotion. You got cornered? It, it's all right. It's really not that bad. That's not true. I've been trying to treat his injuries, but he won't let me. I'm sorry. It's just... I'm not a big fan of nanosurgery. You prefer natural healing? No, that, that's not what I mean. Momo, I need your help over here. I haven't had a tune-up since the battle on Proloma. Some of my parts may be a little worn out. Okay. All systems are working within their normal parameters. I'm behind on my regular maintenance. This body's getting pretty old. Not at all. But you know, you may be better off if Shion were to look you over. You may find this funny, but even with a body like this, I still feel uncomfortable about a young woman working on me. But there are plenty of human female doctors, aren't there? Well, I'm embarrassed of this patchwork mechanical body. I'm being silly, aren't I? But you're all right with me because I'm not human? That's not what I meant. It's just that I feel comfortable around you, but that's probably because... ...because of the purity of your heart. And not because I see you as an object. Thank you. I'm so glad. How I envy you. Huh? Uh, no, it's, uh... It's... it's nothing. I wonder if the Commander's really all right. He's been acting strangely ever since we boarded the Elsa.
I'm no genius, but I don't think the commander's doing so hot. There's an email for Xi'an. Okay, so this is just to let us know that we can enter the UTIC battleship ver through the uh, in environmental simulator. Which is good to know. Alright, let's save the game. I was going to stop here, but I think I'll go on for a little bit longer. Maybe until we can save again. I'm assuming we need to go to the bridge. There's Hammer. Let's see what he has to say. Looks like the repairs are done, so we'll be leaving port soon. The captain's on the bridge, and he's pretty irritated right now. So if you need to take care of shopping, you better do it quickly. Uh, there is more stuff I'd like to buy, but unfortunately, I don't have any cash, so I really can't. What do you want to do? Want to depart soon? Or do you want to wander around the colony still? Yes, please depart. Alright, Tony, we're leaving port. Heading for the Milchen Star System. Hurry up and get us released from the dock. Okay, so I can't see what's going on here. I'm going to try something. That didn't work. 
Well, there we go. We can see most of the scene. It may already be too late. Who are you? What do you mean, too late? What's too late? Ultimately, the choice is up to him. But you... You may be able to understand him in his final moments. Indeed, that will bring him comfort. She's referring to Cherenkov. is affecting the ship from outside hyperspace. What does that mean? Something is trying to come into contact with the ship. If this persists, we will be dragged out of hyperspace. What's this? A sense? Huh? What? Specific, we are located at the approximate center of a giant gnosis. This gnosis is nearly 16,000 kilometers in diameter. To date, the only gnosis of this size on record is the one named Cathedral Ship. Does that mean we were eaten? That may not be far from the truth. I don't sense any activity from the gnosis outside. It's almost as if they're sleeping. Hey, what about the Elsa? Where's the captain and everyone else? Hopefully they too are alive, and in here somewhere. Uh, what is it, Cosmos? My sensors have picked up a signal. A signal? Is it the Elsa? Yes, and something else near it. Although it is faint, I am picking up a waveform similar to the Zohar that was taken from the Woglinde. The Zohar? You mean that gold-colored object that was in the hangar? That thing's here? How far is the Elsa from here? Approximately 10 kilometers from our current position. Not too far. Stay here or find the Elsa. I'm worried about Alan and the others. Hmm. Looks like we have no choice.
This can't be real. Am I dreaming? Or... It's not possible. Ariadne vanished when the Zohar went out of control. Section D! Distorted wave patterns detected in the quarantine hangar! Sector D? Is it the Zohar? Raising a trapped inhibitor output in all Sector D compartments. UMN traffic detected across EPR radar. Something's beaming resonant waves through hyperspace. Where is it? Searching for signal source. It must be resonating with whatever's out there. Prepare to gate jump! Mary! Alert the Foundation! We're gonna follow it. Roger. Okay, so it looks like we're inside the cathedral ship. And this is where I'm gonna call it quits. Let me save. And in the next part, we will work our way through the cathedral ship, see what's gonna happen to Commander Terenkov. And after that, we'll see. We'll see how long that takes. But until then, this is Jigly3. Take care. Goodbye.